Hi everyone, it's Jordan again. Now, we have had a lot of things on this vlog. I think you can agree. We've had Lucy coming, we've had sirens in the background, we've had lawnmowers in the background. A lot of people have been commenting on the birds that are in the background all the time. So we've had a lot of things, but now we have something new. I wanna pause for a second and ask you if you can hear what's in the background now. Do you hear it? Do any of you know what that sound is? Some of you in certain parts of the country might. It's a cicada, not just a cicada, a swarm of cicadas. We have a cicada infestation here currently where I live. And some of you might be in the same boat, some of you might not be. I know it's only in select parts of the country. But what are cicadas if you don't know? Well, they are kind of like locusts, almost like the plagues in the Bible. They don't hurt you at all. They can't sting or bite or anything. And yet somehow I have a very serious fear of them. And in case you want to know more, brace yourself. I brought one to show you. This one is dead. I would not pick it up unless I was promised that it's dead. This is a cicada. That is the sound that you're hearing is an infestation of these guys all talking to each other. Doesn't it kind of sound like they're like an army on their way to take over you or something? That's what I hear. I don't know if anyone else hears that. Anyway, now we will be on to the actual message. Didn't want to miss a chance to tell you about that though. So now we are keeping with our word theme that we have been on for a little while. And the two words we're going to be working with are fact versus feeling. So let me start with the definition of both of them. A fact is a thing that is known or proven to be true. A feeling is an emotional state or reaction. I'll say that again. A fact is a thing that is known or proven to be true. And a feeling is an emotional state or reaction. And these two things are pretty much in every situation that you come across. In every situation, you'll have your personal feelings toward the situation and then there will be the objective facts about the situation. And often, the hard part is these two things very often are contradicting each other. They're competing with each other, they don't line up. So the question then for us, whether we know it or not, is which one are we gonna listen to? I'll give you an example in case that doesn't make a lot of sense. I'll give you an example. My feeling about cicadas is that they are evil and I am terrified of them. And right now I want to turn off this vlog and run into the house where I know that I will be safe. That's my feeling. The fact about cicadas is what I said, they are completely harmless. They can't do anything to me. They're just big, evil looking bugs. Now that example was meant to make you laugh. I hope that it did, but there are much, much more serious instances of fact and feeling contradicting each other. Some people's feelings tell them they don't deserve to live anymore. Some people's feelings tell them that they can't be loved. Some people's feelings tell them that God has left them, that God has abandoned them. You can go on and on with that, the feelings that we feel. What is it for you? What are your hardest feelings? It occurs to me, oh, and now we've got a lawnmower in our background too. How about that? It occurs to me that there are two kinds of people. There are people like me who absolutely need a message like this because I know that my feelings cannot be trusted. I love hearing that my feelings aren't facts. It's a huge relief to me because my feelings don't tell me such good things sometimes. My feelings can make things pretty difficult sometimes. And I need to be reassured that my feelings are not true facts. But maybe you are the other person. Maybe you trust your feelings. Maybe you trust your instincts. Maybe you're the kind of person that says, if I'm feeling this way, then this is the way that it's gotta be. And if you're that kind of person, then I just want to ask you something. I just, I want to ask you, doesn't that put 
you in a place above God? Now I'm, I'm being completely serious here that first I wanna say that feelings are not bad at all. But when we let our feelings take over the facts that God is telling us, when we let our perceptive, pers perspective on things, sorry, our perspective on things become more valuable and more real to us than God's perspective on things that he's telling us, then doesn't that put us in a place higher than God? Isn't that us saying, God, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not going to believe it because I believe that I have a bigger picture than you do. And I'm going to believe what I think over what you think just something to think about just something that I want you to think about if you're that kind of person who thinks that your feelings and your instincts are to be trusted above anything else just think about that 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 is putting yourself in God's place so as again as I said feelings aren't bad feelings are given to us by God he gave us hearts he gave us emotions he gave us feelings but when they become our facts when feelings become our facts, that's when they turn bad. So you're saying, okay, great, I get it, but where do I go to find facts? Well, you go to the Bible. We don't have time to get into why the Bible is, is known or proven true, or definition of fact, but it is. You can be confident that it is. So when you're struggling with feelings that are really, really tearing you down, and I have been there, Go to the Bible and see what the facts say. See what God says about you. I'll read a couple over you, just in case you need to hear them. You are beautiful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by our Creator. You are known by our Creator. You are loved by our Creator. God is with you, always. God has given you a spirit of power, love, and sound mind not a spirit of fear. There are many more that I could go into, but I encourage you to go find some of your own truths and some of your own facts from the Bible that you can hold on to. And I wanna end with this one line from a really good worship song. The first time I heard it, it completely stuck with me and I've remembered it ever since and I think that it's perfect for today. It says, I will not be formed by feelings. I'll hold fast to what is true. See, we all have that decision to make a million times a day in every situation. Am I going to let my feelings become my facts? Or am I going to see what God says about me? Am I going to take the actual truth, the actual facts that come from his word that he's given to me because he wants me to know it. He wants me to know the truth. He wants me to know the facts. And he's given them to me. So am I going to take my own my own little limited perspective? Am I going to try to put it in place of God's? Am I going to say, okay, God, I give you my feelings. I lay them at your feet. Now tell me what the truth is. Let my heart just soak in that truth that you are telling me. And I'm betting you that if you open yourself up to that, and if you allow God to do that in your life, you will be amazed with the truth that you see. So I hope that you do that today. And in every situation that you decide to say, I will not be formed by feelings, but I'll hold fast to what is true because my God is telling me the facts and I wanna hear them and I wanna believe them. God is good all the time. I am getting away from these cicadas. I love you guys, goodbye.